this is my homemade leak detector meant for like evap systems vacuum systems or looking for a boost leak um, this is the hose that will go into your vacuum line or evap system whatever this is the 12 volt air compressor that pumps air into the bucket and pushes the smoke out and it just all clamps onto a 12 volt battery so you just bring it over to your car plug it in this is the switch that controls the burner that's inside of the bucket and creates the smoke just a little LED there to indicate when it's on now you don't want to have it on too long because the way it's set up I'll show you that in a second when I take it off it uh, it can dry out the cotton and then possibly burn it so it's just something you want to watch out for don't leave it on too long or it'll burn past all the the fluid that's on it and what I use for fluid is this this is just a melatonin dropper bottle that I emptied out and what I put on there is vegetable glycerin something that you can just go to Walmart and get so yeah now this is what the burner consists of that is just uh, I believe it's 22 gauge canthal wire and inside of the coil is just cotton from a cotton ball that's been shoved in there now it works great uh, what I do is just drill a hole in here and then I put all that sealant on there to keep it from leaking the smoke out of there and I have another coil down there that's meant for it burns a little bit faster but I don't like how fast it burns but yeah you can see it right here I'm going to flip the switch on the other side of here You can see the smoke starting to come out. So I'll just turn that off right now. And the way you just you put more fluid on there is you just take the dropper, get some fluid in it, and then you just drop some more down it. and now it's ready to be burnt again now although the uh, it all connects to the same battery I have the burner and I have the 12 volt air compressor I have them on two separate circuits so I can control them individually. So while this is off, I can turn the burner on. And then while the, the burner's off, I can have the compressor on. So I'm going to go ahead and show you it working. I'm going to give it a little bit of time to build up some smoke in the bucket. was it running um, you can see some of the smoke still coming out of there I'm gonna pull the lid off and just show you that the buckets probably full of the smoke so you can see that it creates a good amount So there's all the smoke that hadn't been pushed out yet. But I thought I'd just show you my my version of it since these machines can cost around a thousand dollars, some of them. And this is just a cheap alternative. Hey, uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, just let me know what you thought of this one. Go ahead and like it if you liked it. 
comment, tell me something. Maybe you've made one that's better. I'd like to see it. Uh, there's always better ways to do things. I'd like to know what other people are doing. So just let me know what you guys have done. I'd like to know. Thank you.